Hi. Hi. How you doing today, there? Good. How are you? If it's um a little chaotic here, um, or if you have pu puppies yelping, we just got a new puppy, so it might be a little crazy. <laughs> you got puppies yelping. I got my phone dinging with spam. We'll be okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So if it gets crazy, it's because I'm breaking up a uh, puppy fight. In. <laughs> Let me get a quick shot of it. Can we How see the puppies you? or no? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me say. Let me say they're like, here, come here, buddy. <gasps> she hi. hi. Oh, this is Willie. This is Willie. Um, he's a German short haired pointer. We just got him on Thursday, and we have another one like him, except he's black. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> what a handsome fellow. That's great. He's a good boy. Yeah. So he, we're just adjusting. Thank God, I'm actually working from home because. It's just chaos. Boy. I don't know how you do it. And on top of it, you also manage with a job and a new puppy to be the Contoni in a month for August. Oh, my goodness. It's been a crazy month. I'm not going to lie. Like, the backpacks were crazy. Um, I'm doing, like, teacher bags. It's just crazy. But if I wasn't working from home, I would never be able to do it. Thank God. I'm home. Well, that's something. Congratulations. And let's talk a bit about uh, Operation Bags Packed, Lauren. How did, you, how did you start this program? So I started, I'm on my fifth year. So fifth year, so Kara, she's a teacher um, at Chamberlain. And so I kind of started it uh, for her and Susie and a bunch of people I think that you graduated high school with and they're all teachers. And um, they were going to school every day and pretty much they kids were coming to school with no bags no supplies so um hold on one second so they're coming to school oh sorry they were coming to school with nothing so um and the teachers were having to you know not having to but the teachers were taking it out of their own pocket to make sure that the kids had backpacks and school supplies and you know they're not refunded any of that money so i kind of started it with that precedent and went from there so it started with 11 I think I started with 11 backpacks it was like 11 or 20 it was 11 28 and they went from 200 to 260 to 800 bags a share wow so yeah thing. congratulations yeah. how many years have you been doing it five years so this is my fifth year how did it feel when I I, I saw you made it into the Taunton Daily Gazette was yeah cool? it was um it was good I just wish they had um it was good. Um, I'm glad because that does, you know, the community efforts. I just really wish they had done um, a lot more pictures. Um, I, everybody who comes to the house to drop off and anybody I go to pick up to, I make sure I ask them if I can grab a picture. Just because I think it's nice that other people can see the Taunton community giving back. So I just wish they had put more pictures in it. They kind of just grabbed one picture and did the article and I was like, oh man, I sent them like 70 pictures. I wish they had put a lot more pictures in it of the community, because it wasn't just me. It, it was a community effort. So, I mean, I just wish they had put a lot more of the pictures in and the, you know, but they did, it, it's okay. Not everybody can be as fine as a reporter as, as we hear uh, talking to him. What about your goals for next year, Lauren? What do you want to so, do with that? Oh man, next year's gonna be tough. I don't know how I'm gonna be 800. My goal this year was 300 and I got 800. So I don't know how, I don't know. I don't know if I can do more than 800. I hope I can. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think so. And I'll, I'll lend a hand this however I can next year because it's very impressive. It warms my heart. I, I have hope a lot of teachers in my family. Thousand. Yeah. And this year is, is tough. This year is rough. The teachers are. I'm sure you've seen it on Facebook, and I know you have plenty of teachers in your family. It's, it, they're struggling. I mean, like, the, the parents are struggling. The teachers are struggling. It is just, it's rough. Um, I know we're one of the only communities right now, south of Boston, that are doing remote learning. So I know a lot of the parents are struggling this year. And, the, and so I'm just trying to, I know they have a little, um, lunch thing they're doing in Taunton right now to give all the teachers in the Taunton community lunches. Um, but anything I can do to like, I'm trying to do the teacher bags right now. So I'm trying to give away like 15 teacher bags too. Um, it's just tough for this pandemic. I can't get any of the stuff. The Lysol wipes are cleaned out. Paper towels are cleaned out. I can't grab them. Wow. So 
Well, you should send me a list of anything you're looking for because we can share a post on Talk and Taunt and maybe people, more people yeah. can help out. Grab My last that. question for you, Lauren, is what's your number one source for local news in Taunt and Mass? Talk and Taunt. <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much. What a dinger. Well, congratulations. And I, I'm going to just, I'm going to post this interview later today. Is that okay? Yes, you can. Definitely. Right. Um, yeah. You can post the puppy too. Where is All right. it? <laughs> All right. All right. Great work. Congratulations. Thanks so much. I will talk to you soon. Bye, Lauren. Bye.